Okay, GameStop, Express, Bed Bath Beyond, Nokia, BlackBerry, uh, Naked Garment, um, that small Australian retail company. Massive short squeeze in those stocks, massive pump and dump by the retailers, big fear on Wall Street, billionaire hedge fund managers put out of business, everybody's up in arms, what the fuck is going on, okay? I've been in the forums, I've, been in, I've joined Reddit, I've joined Wall Street Bets, the forum on Reddit, I've joined Discord, joined the conversation, even got a free account, uh, no, not a free account, got an account on eToro to get a commission-free broking account, just to see what the fuss is all about, okay? And this is what I think, and correct me if, you're, if you think I'm wrong. This appears to be like a social revolution, a social revolution the likes of which we have seen many times in the last few years. For example, with the fight against the one percenters on Wall Street in 2008 in the wake of the financial crisis. We have seen it in the Arab Spring in the Middle East in the last few years. We have seen it in Malaysia with the ousting of the 60-plus-year-old established BN government in 2018 when all Malaysians of all colors and stripes got together to oust the establishment, even though all of us as a society are divided by a number of things. Race, religion, culture, wealth, hierarchy, titles, um, anything and everything that is artificial and constructed and natural uh, known to our society. This is a social revolution which has taken many forms in the past and which will continue to take many forms in the future. And why do I say this? It's because the little guy has had enough of the big guy. The little guy has been pushed around, rendered powerless, rendered toothless, and victimized as a result of all the bullshit that the establishment have done. This is a social revolution which will shape and form society for many years to come, including financial markets, not exclusively in financial markets. And correct me if I'm wrong, but this is a big tectonic shift which will shape society and the economy for many years to come. It is the divide between rich and poor, it is the gap between the wealth and the wealthy and the not so wealthy. It is the divide between Main Street and Wall Street. And Main Street, the small guy, has had enough. We are coming up and we're saying to the big guys, to the billionaires, to the rich, we've had enough. Uh, and we're going to come after you. Because as one matchstick, we're weak. But as a bunch of matchsticks, we are near as unbreakable as can be. I don't know what is going to happen in the few years coming in the next few years. I don't know how fundamental this development is, but what I do know is that it's here to stay, and it's going to shape society and markets and economies for many years to come. Tell me what you think. I hope I'm wrong. I'm sure there's differing points of view out there, but you tell me what you think in the comments below, and hopefully I'll get uh, we'll get to the bottom of this in the years to come. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for coming by.